Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and today I'm gonna to show you the best bike for riding a bike for the first time as an adult. Stick around. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you the best bikes for riding a bike for the first time as an adult. But before we jump in, hit that subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630, be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out and the first to know about all the contents we're doing for giveaways of bikes, e-bikes, accessories, and apparel. You'll wanna hit subscribe to be in the know. Okay, so let's say you've never ridden a bike or you're getting back into bike riding after 30 years. What's the best bike to jump right in and get back into bicycling? I've got two different bike models here that I believe to be the best two bikes for riding a bike for the first time as an adult. And there's a couple features that I like about both of these bikes. Now one, you've got a step through design and two, you've got easy mounting and dismounting and three on one of the models we've got forward pedaling design and I will explain to you why I think that's good for your first bike as an adult. So let me start off and show you. <clears throat> this is our Every Journey Step Through Design. We also call this, this is really gender neutral, can be men's or women's. This is our Step Through Design. You'll find it on our website, labeled women's. And here is the men's design or step or non step over with the higher top tube. Now, these bikes, now if you're really nervous about bikes and getting back into it for the first time, never ridden, the best option would be the step over. Here's the other version as you get more confident. Same features other than the step over height and I'll explain to you why the step over is really the best option for your first time riding as a bike as an adult. Now, there's a couple things. One, very easy step through and mounting. <clears throat> you can simply step through and slide back and you're on the bike. So mounting and dismounting is super simple, easy, not dangerous, very easy to get on and off. Now, <clears throat> let me, stay with me, grab my tape measure. The step over height on the every journey, measure from this side, is 18 inches. So if you can lift your leg 18 inches and step through, you are good. This prevents you from having to do the rear leg swing, which is another option to mounting. Um, but if you're just getting to bicycling for the first time as an adult, that's the easiest way to mount and dismount. Now let me lower the seat all the way down. Okay. Now with the seat all the way down, <clears throat> we're gonna measure to right about here and the standover height is 30 inches. So this is actually a forward pedaling design bike. This is what makes it great for riding a bike for the first time. With a forward pedaling design bike, the seat's gonna be lower to the ground because you're gonna get leg extension because the pedals are moved forward. Let me show you. So as I flip it around, you can see on a traditional bicycle, the pedals would be located here. Now in this case, we've created a more extreme seat tube angle, which actually brings the pedals four inches out in front of your hips. What this does is, like I said, allows the seat to be lower to the ground while you still get ample leg extension when riding. Now. The benefit, let me show you, you can have your feet flat on the ground and get proper leg extension when riding. This makes mounting, dismounting safer and stopping safer because when you come to a stop, you can plant your feet and be very secure on the ground. So if you're a first time rider or getting back into riding after 30, 20 years, you want to know that when you stop, Balancing will be easy. 
on a traditional bike, because you don't have that forward pedaling, you're gonna have to be up on the balls of your feet when you stop. So when you pedal, you get the proper leg extension. Now, that's gonna make it harder to balance on the balls of your feet, and it is going to be slightly more dangerous if you're not comfortable on the bike. So, again, lower seat, forward pedaling, you can stop feet flat on the ground. In addition for a first time rider, it's a more relaxed position, less, less tension on your muscles. So as you work up and build your strength, you can work into a more aggressive style, like a road bike or a mountain bike. But to just get going, if your muscles, your shoulders, your back, your arms are not used to it, it's a lot of strain to be holding yourself forward and keeping the weight on your arms. You're gonna be very sore. In this case, it keeps your back upright, keeps your arms relaxed, there's very little muscle tension. You're still working it, but you can get your body adjusted to the riding position and ease yourself in to the kind of soreness that you're gonna experience from riding a bike. That's a huge benefit, especially for a first time rider. Now, I'll take just a quick circular lap here as a demo and I'll show you. In addition on this bike, front and rear handbrakes, very safe for stopping. You can focus on pulling the brakes, getting your feet flat, <clears throat> and then to get going on this bike, very simple. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a quick loop here and show you how safe. Um, Morning mounted, I got the seat raised, my feet are flat, complete control, and then you can just push off. And let's say you can't balance, you can easily get your feet right back down. So it's important to remember. So, and you can see how relaxed of a position I'm in. Let's do a little loop here. I don't have my helmet on just because I'm doing some very easy riding. Come to a stop, pull my brakes. Feet down. So, every journey, forward pedaling design, great option if you're riding a bike for the first time as an adult or getting back into riding after 20 years. Now, I have another great option, which is our easy boarding bicycle. What makes this bike so easy, so good for first time riding in a bike as an adult is really because how easy it is to get on and off. So. Now this is a unisex frame and you can see this is about as low as a step through that you can get in a 26 inch standard bike. The step through height is about 11 inches. So this doesn't feature the forward pedaling design as much, maybe like well, actually it does a little bit. Let's go ahead and measure. Not as much as the Every Journey, but definitely a little bit. Pedals are here. I'm gonna say probably only about an inch forward, but that's still gonna give you a little bit more leg extension, allowing the seat to be lower. Now, the true beauty of this though, step through, you're on. So if you're really concerned with getting on and off the bike, never ridden a bike before, this is a great option. And you can slide back onto the seat. So you'd have to have the seat <laughs> a little bit higher on the easy boarding than the every journey. But if the mounting and dismounting is something you're more concerned with, this is a better option. Um, the every journey, as we said, has about 18 inch step over height. But, you know, from a riding perspective, I think the every journey is more conducive to a first time rider um, this has a traditional frame, it's still good. And the beauty is if you ever had to get off the bike and like pull your leg out, there's nothing here to block you. So falling on this bike or aborting a bike, a ride on this bike would be super easy. The beauty about both of these bikes too, is I'm showing you here the fully aluminum versions. So they're very light. You know, you can like, this thing is easy to pick up. I don't have a scale here, but I want to say this is approximately 40 pounds, um, which is pretty light for a full size bike. And same thing, I mean, you can just 
do a little test ride here. So you can see I still have the ergonomic riding position. Still easy on my body. I'm not leaning forward. Very little tension in my muscles. And um, easy on and off. I just did a quick dismount there. <laughs> Actually with the leg over, but <clears throat> I'm so used to that. So these are the two best options if you're learning to ride a bike as an adult. The Every Journey step over which also has the every journey high bar and the easy boarding um, step through frame if you have any other questions or need any other help please comment below or shoot us an email the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877 and take the body fit quiz on our website you're going to answer a couple questions about your body your life and our proprietary algorithm will recommend the perfect bike for you in addition, we have a 365-day return policy. If you don't love your bike within 365 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. Lastly, join our communities. Our Facebook Peddlers group is a great place to be a part of. If you're interested in a bike, you can ask other riders or read the posts about information on the bikes they have, how they're riding it. It's a great place to get knowledge. In addition, download the app in advance of purchasing. You can see how other people are riding their bike, how many miles to truly get a sense of the performance of these bikes. And then of course, after you own your bike, both communities are great to be a part of. Talk to other riders, get tips on your bike, maintenance tips, what accessories are best. And of course, track your rides on the app and compete on the leaderboard. It's a lot of fun. So thank you for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.